ba 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 boom explode Hey, what's going on guys? Jake Fernie here from BoomExplode.com and I'm here with Team Bondi in Rockstar's investigatory thriller, L.A. Noir, for yet another edition of our Second Chance Sundays, thanks to our friends over at GameLine. But before we jump into it, I'd like to apologize first for my even more nasally than usual voice as I'm a bit sick. In any industry, risk is sometimes necessary in order for that field to progress and develop with the times. The whole risk versus reward saying. The same can be seen in the video game industry, and Rockstar pulled a risky move when creating L.A. Noire, a very new, unique, and involving take on the open world style gameplay, similar to their incredibly successful and popular Grand Theft Auto series. Only this time, you're on the right side of the law. You play the role of Detective Cole Phelps, a World War II hero just trying to make his mark in the new and confusing world that 1947 Los Angeles provides. Instead of the typical fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants shoot 'em upper that Rockstar has been known to provide, you nonchalantly make your way through the crime-flooded streets and the cases that result during the most violent time in L.A.'s history. As a detective, you are forced to take in the whole picture, search for and analyze clues, and interrogate possible suspects or witnesses to the crime committed. But it's even more intricate than that. As you question these people, you must determine whether they are lying or telling the truth, based not on the substance of what they say, but rather how they say it and the expressions they exhibit. This is where the revolutionary new technology titled Motion Scan comes into play. This is also where Eleanor really shows its strengths. Every intricate wrinkle, twitch of the brow, half smirk, eye roll, or nervous swallow is scanned and captured from a real life actor into the game. It's so lifelike that you may recognize some of these actors and could probably lip read most of the dialogue. If you glance away for even a second, you might miss a vital reaction that could be a key to solving a case, so pay attention, very close attention. It's these reactions to the questions that you, you ask that allow you to determine if they are telling the truth or lying. If you accuse someone of lying, you must back it up with a statement from another witness or suspect, provide a clue found when searching crime scenes or houses as well. You may also doubt what the person said if you think they are stretching the truth a little bit, but don't have the evidence to back up your gut instinct. If you come to a roadblock, you can use a intuition point to remove one of the three answers to narrow down your options, find any clues you've might, you might have missed along the way, or ask your peers for help using Rockstar's social club. These intuition points are obtained by ranking up, discovering famous locations that litter the massive and explorable Los Angeles landscape, or answering questions correctly. Ranks are basically the game's leveling system, where experience gained from completing main storyline cases and street crimes level you up to a max of 20 resulting in no real benefit other than those intuition points. Street crimes are a good way to break up the monotony of a continuous storyline. As you go about chasing down murderers and firebugs, calls will come in on your squad car's radio. These calls are usually your typical bank robbery in progress, domestic abuse, or the ever-popular petty larceny, and are only a short sidetrack that usually result in a shootout or a chase, whether on foot or in car. When I had my first glimpse of Eleanor's gameplay at PAX East 2011, the developers and booth operators stated that your gun is a last resort behind your fist, which can come off as concerning to a die-hard, action-filled game fan such as myself. But let me reassure you, there is plenty of gunplay to go around, especially if that's what you seek. And when the time comes to flick that safety off, the controls are fairly basic and tend to lean more towards your favor when multiple enemies stand in your way. The only thing that can be a bit frustrating at times is running. When running, there is very little control when turning sharply to try and make a corner, and when you stop running, there is about a second or two delay before your character actually reacts. If you time it incorrectly and run into a wall, a couple more seconds will be added to that delay as you completely stop and try to regain your bearings. Although there are multiple deaths that you are promoted through during the course of the game, these being patrol, traffic, homicide, vice, and finally arson, the cases start to become a little repetitive and familiar. It's almost easy to predict what's going to happen next, when it will, and the correct approach for that predicament. So it is necessary to partake in these street crimes that make themselves available. The graphics are pretty bland and basic, leaving nothing for you to gawk at, but the main focus of this game, as Rockstar wants, is the incredible motion scan technology. So the fact that the graphics are a bit poor allows for the complete appreciation of this revolutionary feat drawing no attention away from just how incredible it is. As a music buff, I really like to pay attention to the soundtracks of games and how they complement, or otherwise, the environment that is trying to be conveyed. L.A. Noir's appropriate 1970s mix of smooth jazz and upbeat swing is perfect for the gameplay and actually forced me to purchase my first ever full game soundtrack. 
So the relaxing and at times dramatic interactions made possible by these unique tunes, accompanied by the immersive gameplay and incredible fish technology, allows me to give with confidence this game a solid 9.0. If you have a large amount of time to spare, equal to the portion that some RPGs require, and are looking for a new and distinct experience, LA Noir is your cup of tea. Well, as always, thanks for tuning in, and make sure to give this video, as well as all our future videos, a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter to stay up to the minute on our latest news, reviews, and weekly podcast. Thanks again, everyone.